Hey guys, Max back here again. All right, I am up here looking at little footage I found on a video. I've been playing a new game. A friend of mine has been taking me out to uh, do something different, to unwind. And there's this game called, what's the name of this? Dragon Tiger Phoenix Game. I guess it'd be at internet cafes or something like that or any place of the game. It basically got, it's like a giant, to me, because I'm a gamer, it looked like a giant old arcade game where everyone can jump in and grab the sticks. Like how the Simpson games was or the Turtle games back in the day. You know what I'm talking about to all you gamers. From my era. And a friend of mine got me onto it and was going like, hey, there's, there's some kind of trick to this game. And I figured it out. I figured something out. I figured out a technique. It, it seemed like there's like three different techniques. Then they also came out with a new fish game or whatever. But to this one, I'm going to show you the video. But the things you need to look out for. There's these uh, things you shoot with. You got three buttons. Button to cash out or however the place might do it. The other button is to shoot. And the other one say stronger or something like that. Up, stronger, whatever. And you start out with, some places might still do it. I heard it went down as a penny a shot, but it's like a penny a shot, five cent a shot, 10, 15, 20, 25. It got all the way up to $3 a shot. Now, of course, you put your money in, and you got, the name of the game is basically the big ones that you have to aim for, which is the dragon, tiger, and phoenix. Okay, there's also a bomb, there's also a crab, but uh, I'll get in more details later. Basically, let me get the crab out of the way. There's a crab with a drill. If you actually pop him, his drill, you aim and fire and then bounce all around the board. The bomb is the big thing that everyone wants. It looked like an old uh, landmine or whatever, whatever people used to use back in the war. That's one of the money grabbers. Okay, one of the keys that I caught on that you have to find your own number different numbers actually blow up and then of course whatever number you shoot with it's like times that amount whatever that's how much you get paid I'll probably do a part two to this to actually explain the spending but whoever play that game heavily you might want to ask them but the thing I caught on this is my little secret or whatever I test it so far it's going I'll probably go again test it again if I find something new I'll actually put it up here but But basically it's like this I figured out all the little small fishes that actually goes around and I actually you know point out the fishes I'll put the video here or here or right here or right here I put a video somewhere but basically what I caught on the game always like to accumulate how much money that actually sucked in because it's a smart computer it's a game of course but find out what everyone else numbers they shoot at. I found out a good range is in between 20 to 45. It's a good range if you want to win something. But see what everyone else at the table is actually shooting with. Now if you're a type that only got $20, probably be safe shooting at 25 cents a shot. Here's a clue how you know you're going to win something. Alright, my secret. Matter of fact, probably have, anyway, forget. This is what you look out for. There's small little fishes that are in groups, of course. The smaller fish, the smaller the amount that you win. If you don't win that with the, in between three to six shots, when you shoot them, you don't have the right number, okay? That's why I figured out. You don't have the right number. Change it up, either go down five or go up five. So when you're shooting the fish and you see you pop it off and you actually got a good group amount, throughout the whole time the dragon's gonna go through, the phoenix is gonna go through, the tiger is gonna come through, and the bomb. Do at least three taps on each one, three shots. If you're doing like 25 cents, do like three shots. Just bam, hit the dragon. Now, if you're actually at a good angle, you hit the bomb, hit the bomb. Feed the bomb like 
I'll do the max. Do six shots. Bam, bam, bam. Leave it alone. Let it go. But the game will start making noises. You're going to hear a roar sound. You don't know who's talking. You don't know if it's the phoenix, the tiger, or the dragon. You don't know which one. You need to look for them. One of the keys I look for is the dragon look like he's burning super hot and the fire look like it's flashing. You shoot at him. You shoot at him. But then it could have been the tiger. Make sure you get some licks in. Or the phoenix. And the bomb. That's all you need to go for. Now, if you is a baller, there is people that go out there in 90 shits, shots. Whoever raise it up that high, like 75 cent, 90 cent a shot. Right, you're gonna have to up your number to like 50, 55. The only way to stand a chance because the game will pick up if bigger numbers is actually shooting and actually feeding into them. So they're gonna start adding up. Like, oh snap, big big numbers coming up. All right, cool. Let's level it out. No one's gonna win nothing. We're gonna start soaking it up. When it slows down, bam, you hit it again. You just stay out there. Don't go high as them. If you came, you got 10 cent shot. Go like 15, go for small fish. Go right back to what I told you in the beginning. Start shooting that small stuff. All right, but anyway, any further ado is showing you what it looks like. I probably kept playing it, but I'm gonna play it again. There it is. All right, there go the dragon, as you can see going around. They go to crab up there with the forward thing. They go to Phoenix with the tiger. With the tiger. This is what it looks like. If you see all the little corners with numbers, that's where different people can play. The best way to actually get it is be right in the middle on the side. See where the chest going across? Be right there where it say 44120. That good spot across from that is a good spot. And the corners only. I mean corners. Pick a spot. <laughs> but you'll get what I mean. I say that bottom left is a real good spot. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And it comes out. See how that dragon look? He'll start blinking. Look like he's more on fire. That's a good way to start tapping him. The phoenix, you gotta pay attention to the feathers. The tiger, just hit his behind. Alright? That's all I gotta say. Just, just hit him. And that's that's basically what I picked up so far. If I pick up any tips, any more tips, I will actually put it up on here for more. Ain't nothing wrong. This is a game. We're competitive. It make it so bad. I'm a gamer that actually been introduced. And us gamers, we don't like to lose. We like to win. So, if you like to see, give me a little thumbs up to all you people that play in them internet cafes. You know what I'm talking about. Got any hints in yourself? Put it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. See y'all in the next video. Later.